You're listening to the Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast with your hosts, Prodigy. I got another fucking three weeks to start carving my bushes into elephants and shit and make it look like Disneyland. Wow, that just got really weird. <laughs> Deuce. Running around with a pink fucking 725. I don't care if you're a girl gamer or what. Stop it. Yeah. Fucking annoying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Demonic. Tune in next week and John will be going over his bracket with us. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. You guys donated all the wood. <laughs> and I'd like to see you lick it. Hey, somebody's like, who was making that rubbing noise all night? I was like, oh, it was me. <laughs> Sarah, you're right, Miguel. It looks just like the Black Ranger. You're right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Hello listeners, gamers, button mashers, teabaggers, noobs, griefers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet. Welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Talking video game right out of northern Arizona, somewhere in Washington. Once again, it's time for another show. This is season number three, number 229. And you're listening to a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games. I'm your host, Chris, and today, the full crew is here. Now enjoy the show. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. Let's start off this week with Joe. What are you drinking and what have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking the Odell Brewing 90 Shilling Ale and I played Warzone, seventy six zombies uh, on Cold War, and then Back for Blood, Hades. And that's it. Oops, sorry. Let me turn it down. Okay, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you, Joe. All right, let's move on over to Miguel. Miguel, what are you drinking, and what have you been playing this week, guy? Shock top, courtesy of Joe. Oh, uh, yeah. get, get my shock top on. I have played Warzone. Zombies with Joe, um, Back for Blood, Night in the Woods. I wouldn't call it playing. I was trying to, I had to jump like fifty times for daily, weekly thing. Um, I think I played yeah. Halo Two a little bit. That's it. I think tried Split Gate unless I talked about that last week. May have, but I played. I played one match on PC. One who'd played. Hmm? Oh, we did play it. Too. Wait, did we play it together last week? We did. Oh, I think as of last week, I was the only one who played it. I yeah. I played it on my PC. I did a match, and okay, it feels slow paced to me. But <laughs> yeah, I remember you you said you agreed it felt like Halo. Oh, definitely. Very much so. That's it. Cool. All right, let's move on down to John. John, what are you drinking? What have you been playing, my friend? I'm drinking a Red Bull, and once this is gone. If I'm up for it, I might drink a beer. I have some Coors Banquet in the mini fridge down down there. Um, this week I played Warzone. Uh, I think I did multiplayer for a minute, and then I played Back for Blood. Hmm. Didn't we do Plunder with Butters? Oh yes, yeah, we, we did, did do Plunder with Butters. Yeah, that sounds right. like a bad so, yeah, website. So, that's it for me. What about you, Chris? What are you drinking, and what have you been playing? Uh, let's see. Right now, I'm drinking a. It's a Jamaica blood orange, like bubbles. It's got like caffeine and shit in it. It's an antioxidant, made by the company by. It's, yeah, it's some interesting shit. Truly, yeah. Um, and with mixed with Tito's, it's good stuff. No, it tastes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like it that much. I think I'm gonna stick with the Pellegrino next time. But anyways. Uh, let's see. This week on my Xbox, I played some Warzone, um, Splitgate. Uh, let's see what else did I play over on my PC? I played some um, fucking what is it? The Old West, that Western game that I fucking played, and then Valheim. Um, got some cool shit for you, Joe, to, for us to play on there. So got some really cool stuff. I found some dungeon locations and stuff, so now we can get our smelters going on. So that'll be fun. Let's see. Uh, over on my quest two, I played some Larsonauts and some Top Golf, and that is pretty much me this week. 
It's time for the news. News. Joe, are you ready, buddy? Yep. <clears throat> This is weekly news, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. Uh, the Xbox Series X is getting a new 4K dashboard. So, yay. Okay, <laughs> that's it. You do? And that's the end of the news. Uh, basically, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard to be revealed Thursday in, in Warzone. Warzone. Yes. Okay. Uh, they've announced it. Okay. It will be revealed properly in Warzone on Thursday. Uh, let's see. That will be 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And for you Brits, it's 9.30 p.m. on the 19th. So, and that's within Call of Duty Warzone. Is that a new game mode? A new game. It's a new Call game. Duty Vanguard. You know how Call of Duty releases a game every year? And it's this going year's back Call of Duty is, is called Vanguard. Yeah, it's going back to World War II. So. And, and for you to watch the stream, it's through Warzone, correct? Yes. That, okay. I mean, it'll be on YouTube, like, yeah, immediately yeah, after I'm that. Sure. Yeah. You're not going to... I don't think it's not like Fortnite where you're going to get anything special if you watch it while mm. you're in the game. I, I don't know. It, it's, not a, it's not a stream. I'm pretty sure if it's going to be anything like what they did... With Black Ops, it's just going to be like a reveal trailer or something after the event. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. You know, actually, I yeah, I they just say be the first to um, to the fight and be rewarded. Report to Call of Duty Warzone and play in any playlist between nine thirty a.m. Pacific, twelve thirty p.m. Eastern, and ten twenty nine a.m. Pacific, one twenty nine p.m. Eastern. Uh, and participate in a limited time double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP event before the battle begins. So if you play, like for us, if you play it from 9.30 to 10.30, that one hour you'll get double XP, weapon XP, and battle pass XP. And usually the event, you do get like a blueprint or something special for being there. What day of the week is that? Thursday. Okay, I'll be at work. Okay, so I was <laughs> confused, and I think I understand it now. They're previewing the game. They're doing a video of the game dirt uh, in Warzone. The game it's... itself is not being released in Warzone. Right, correct. Okay. It's just going to be a trailer. It's just okay. They're going to have some kind of event. I don't know if you were there for the Black Ops event. Nope. Where you like have to do shit in the map, and then when you get to the end of the event... You have a trailer. I think we did be... that, didn't we? Was I did. Like me, you, and Risky, I think, last time. I don't remember. Yeah, I did do it last time. Yeah, and there was just a trailer at the end, but I but, assume it's... Yeah, going it's going, going back to World War II. Cool. Mm. That's it. That's it for the news. Well, there is one more thing. They did catch the guy that uh, murdered the voice actress of uh, Mercy. Those of you who don't know, she was Brazilian. Uh, she was murdered. Um... They did catch Mercy from Overwatch? Yeah. Mercy and from Cortana. She also, and she did the voice of Cortana in Halo. So this asshole oh, murdered her and said it was in self defense, but they caught him. But good. For clarity for John, it wasn't the voice actor that you know, it was the Brazilian voice actor. So oh, speaking okay. Portuguese or yeah. whatever. Okay. Still. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, yes. that's fucked up. But just for mm-hmm. clarity for you. Who said remind what the fuck reminds me about Scar Joe? Who said he wants us to fuck? remind him when we get to what the fucks about something about Scar Joe, which I'm assuming oh. is Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, so that's oh, exactly yeah. what that is. Okay, you I probably should have put that not in the Twitch. I was gonna send it in the text because <clears throat> nobody would have seen it. <laughs> you could have sent it in uh, Discord. Dude, my phone is like right here. That's true. Joe's Discord gonna be is TikTok right here. In a minute anyway. <laughs> Besides, no one's in the chat anyway. Yeah, nobody cares. cares. Nobody cares. I'm in the chat. Yeah, I'm in the chat. And that's why please, I sent it please. in the chat. So you Arabs. can fucking remind me. <laughs> Good show yeah. content, boys. I love it. Good shit, John. All right. Well, I do. 
Good job, Deuce. It's time for the dates. Demonic, are you ready? I guess so. I'm not sure, whatever. <laughs> Demonic Dates, keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Uh, today is August 17th, so we have, I feel like I said this one already, skipping that, skipping that, uh, skipping that, skipping that, because I think I did all these for the 17th. Recompile PS5 Series SX on the 19th. Rims Racing. PS5, PS4, Series S, X, and Xbox One, and the Switch on the 19th. The Veil, Shadow of the Crown, Xbox One on the 19th. 12 Minutes is coming to Xbox One and Series S, X on the 19th, which I know is one of their exclusives that I saw something the other day. I didn't read the article, but someone was like super excited about 12 Minutes. Uh, Arietta of Spirits, PS4, Xbox One, Switch on the 20th. Gosa Shoshima, Director's Cut, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 on the 20th. Madden NFL 22, I mean Madden NFL 12 plus 10, because it's the same thing every year. PS5, Series SX, PS4, Xbox One, Stadia on the 20th. Aliens, Fireteam Elite, might check it out. PS5, Series SX, PS4, Xbox One on the 24th. Ha- HOA? H-O-A? It's not all capitals, so I think it's HOA on the Homeowners Switch. Homeowners Association. Could be. Who knows? Look it up, John. Look it up, main Monkey. What's HOA? Main character is uh, Karen. <laughs> yes. That's on Switch, so for you Switch bitches out there, on the 24th. Uh, here's for Chris. I wouldn't say this if it wasn't for Chris. I expect you to die too. The Spy and the Liar. On PSVR, Rift, and Quest on the 24th. Any idea what that is? No? Okay. Yeah, well, no, I expect uh, you to die yeah. was a, a co-op game where you have a bunch of friends. I believe it, you're disarming a bomb or something like that, and you and you have your friends, they tell you how to disarm it, and then you pretty much die. You, they expect you, or something like that. It was some sort of, either that or it was the escape room. Well, I don't fucking remember, but it was something along the lines of that. That sounds accurate based on the subtitle, which is The Spy and the Liar. I'm assuming it's going to be more of an Among Us thing. Yeah, that's probably what it would be, probably in VR. Uh, I know you had your hand raised, John, but King's Bounty 2, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch on the 24th, and Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 on PlayStation 5, August 24th. And I'm guessing Monkey had some more information. Take it away, John! Oh, Monkey, uh, I looked it up at the same time Monkey did, but he wrote... Put it all in text to, uh, in the Twitch chat. So I will just read what he put in the Twitch chat. HOA HOA is a beautiful puzzle platforming game that features breathtaking hand painted art, lovely music, and a peaceful, relaxing atmosphere. Experience the magic of nature and imagination as you play the main character, HOA, on her journey through breathtaking environments back to where it all began. Doesn't sound anything to do with, like, with a Karen. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. What it should have been is HOA. Play as Karen as you go out to ruin your neighbor's (laughs) lives and prove to them that they don't know anything and you are in charge and the world revolves around you. You should have picked up my trash, big boy. I picked up your trash. No, you didn't. You want to go see what you love? Hey, Joe. That'd be perfect. How is that coding going? I think John's on to (laughs) something. Well, I mean, hell, they already have that property one, the one that I downloaded, the... Mm -hmm. Where you do all the home improvements, it's in VR now. Uh, so you can actually like oh my God. clean the house and paint <laughs> the walls and shit in VR. So why do don't we just Karen add... in there? Uh, not yet, but I think we can code the uh, HOA or the uh, the DLC. Yeah, that HOA game. DLC. Yeah. <laughs> HOA DLC and have her with her phone. Like, what are you doing? Then, like, you can download. You can. There's DLC where you can have Karen in your neighborhood telling you you're you're painting your house the wrong color, and she's on the HOA, and she's the director of the board. I told you what you were supposed to do. A B C D E F G. For an extra twenty five dollars, you can beat the fuck out of her too. That's what I'm saying. And That's you, a perfect update. Yeah, you get to pick your ethnicity, so she can actually be racist towards you. Can it be FPS? 
<laughs> yes, but you have no feet. You'd option. Oh, damn it! That is not accurate enough, John. You had an option to beat the well, shit out of you, you broke your foot in off in her ass, so you have no feet oh, okay. left. I like that. But it's yeah. a first person shooter. I don't want to shoot my foot. I don't know what to tell you. What am I, the detachable kid? Oh, God. <laughs> DTK. <clears throat> TDK, dummy. Yeah. TDK. Yeah, that's what oh. I said. Fuck off, John. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling for the win. Hooked on ponics worked for me. <laughs> Hydroponics worked for me. What? Works yeah, for me. <laughs> um, now that we're all off track, um, mm-hmm. that's everything coming up this week. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta run it a little extra overtime there. Well, on that note, it's time for the greatest segment in the world. John, are you ready? Why, yes, I am. Ladies and gentlemen. Step right up, step right up, come on down. It's time for the more you know with the Joker Drone. This week on the more you know, we're continuing with the theme from the last few weeks, and we are going to be discussing the 10 most useless Marvel villains. So, kicking it off, at number 10, we have Mojo. Mojo is a longtime X Men villain, one of the spineless ones. He runs an entire dimension where power is measured by TV ratings. It's a pretty blatant indictment of both how bad TV is for people and how the executives of creative companies are spineless and without scruples and morals. Mojo is the ultimate corrupt executive, relying on sex and violence to get his ratings. He's captured the X-Men a few times, but has never really done anything important. Is, he is gross. He's just this That big, is quite the character, yes. Yeah, big fat slob with like mechanical spider legs. Grotesque. He's like the, the gamers living in their mother's basements. <sighs> and they breathe. Yeah, <sighs> Alright. Coming in at number nine. Did you take my mountain, dude? <laughs> Coming in at number nine, we have Belasco. <laughs> Sorry, John. Picture you're the rule of a hellish ruler of a hellish dimension, and you kidnap a little girl because reasons. This is an article I'm reading. Yeah, it actually says reasons. Anyway, <laughs> she escapes your clutches and survives said a hellish dimension, finding people who tre- teach her magic. Then she overthrows you in a place where you command armies and have all the power. That's Belasco in a nutshell. He ruled Limbo kidnapped magic and then she grew up and beat him that's the definition of useless so magic that's uh colossus's younger sister she was in the new mutants the the russian chick you guys saw the new mutants joke it of course we did i'm not on tiktok whatever not yet not yet yeah okay (laughs) uh so yeah she was the one that uh could go through portals yeah she was the badass one that was magic all right, number eight is Arcade. Arcade is a sort of, or Arcade is sort of an old school villain in that he builds elaborate death traps to kill those that he's paid to kill. Those death traps are usually based on arcade games, hence the name. This raises so many questions. First off, if he has the resources and intelligence to build huge death traps, aren't there more efficient uses? For for all of those things that would allow him to be a better assassin? Is his theme that important to him? He's gotten some kills over the years, mostly a lot of Avengers Academy kids no one cared about, but he's still pretty useless. Number looks, seven. The, the first picture that came up of him looks like Chucky to me. Yeah. Is it the Raiders Minus owner? the scars on his face, but yeah. 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 Number seven, Cyber. Cyber was a Wolverine villain who debuted in the early 90s. He had adamantium arms, claws, that injected his victims with hallucinogens and his mutant psychic abilities. He's super strong and durable as well. None of that has helped him in life. See, Cyber dies and is resurrected. A lot. 
He's on his third or fourth body, and well, no one cares. No one has ever cared. It's mystifying why he gets resurrected so much. Who keeps requesting this? Number hey, they six. Need, they need yes. fodder. Every D, every uh, mm-hmm. comic needs fodder. So. Yeah, meat shield. Yep. Number six, Romulus. Romulus is another bad Wolverine villain. The best way to describe Romulus is this. Picture Sabretooth with a top knot and black and white hair. Add some Wolverine-esque adamantium claws and some longer adamantium finger claws, and you have an idea of what Romulus looks like. Romulus was introduced as yet another evil mastermind behind Weapon X and Wolverine's life. And look, let's be real, no one cares about that stuff anymore. Larry Hama closed the book on Weapon X stuff in the 90s, bringing more of it into the books. Or bringing more of it into the books... It was the definition of padding something out and is just completely useless. See, uh, in the all the Deadpool comics I read, Romulus was in those, and I actually found him to be kind of interesting. So, I disagree with that take, but... Water. Yeah. It's not about interest, John. It's about uselessness. Well, he was actually, like, in the Deadpool comics, they made him, they actually played him out to be this criminal mastermind and he legit was fucking with everybody's lives so yes he ended up dying but he was very good at it he was good at dying he was really good at it guys whatever (laughs) you know what i meant all right number five crossbones crossbones is one of red skull's main henchmen he looks like a luchador on steroids and has a rather fearsome look People look at Crossbones and see a guy who can kick a lot of butt. The reality is the reality is far from that, though. As far as henchmen go, Crossbones is less than useless. Dude gets jobbed out to everyone. That might seem like a henchman's lot, but there have been some villainous henchman types who haven't been nearly as useless as Crossbones. For example, Sabretooth basically started out as a henchman. Look, what did he grow into? Crossbones? Well, he does sleep with the boss's daughter now, so there's that. Hmm. All right. Number four, Sin. Speaking of crossbones, let's look at Sin next. Sin is Red Skull's daughter, and she looked to be of the big deal. She took her father's place as Red Skull, unearthed the hammers of Scotty, and kicked off the whole Fear Itself event that no one cared about. Sin was set up to be a big deal, but nothing she did had any kind of impact. Plus, eventually, her father came back, throwing her back into a position to be a second fiddle, which is a shame because she had a lot of potential. She's a redhead wearing... I wouldn't mind seeing her in a MCU movie. You see that? I like her a lot. Yeah. All right. She reminds reminds me of Scarlet from Mortal Kombat, even though I'm sure she was here before Scarlet from Mortal Kombat. Number three. Yeah. Jigsaw. Punisher villains have it pretty hard. First off, there aren't very many of them that are recurring. It's the nature of Punisher's quest. Secondly, they get jobbed out to a guy with guns. Jigsaw is no exception to this. In fact, his origin starts with the loss to the Punisher and just snowballs from there. He gets thrown through a plate glass window, survives, and swears vengeance, and then gets beat on for years. He can't even beat the Punisher when he has overwhelming force on his side, He's pretty much the de- definition of a useless villain. Just got a Number two, Mole Man. <laughs> if you want to get extremely technical about it, Mole Man is the first villain of the Marvel Universe. Mole. Technically, the Marvel Universe didn't exist pre-Fantastic Four number one. The company that would become Marvel Comics published characters and their stories before this, but there were no actual Marvel Universe until Fantastic Four number one. It was, it's such a pity that Mole Man was so very useless. He rules over the Moloids and the denizens of Monster Island and should be so much cooler than he is, but he's never really done anything worthwhile to cement his status as the first villain of the Marvel Universe. Number one, White Rabbit. White Rabbit is a Spider-Man villain, and there's really not much else that can be said for her. She has never done anything worthwhile. She's a generic, evil, criminal woman, and to make it even more cringe, 
Butch is portrayed as an airhead stereotype. There's just so much useless about White Rabbit. It's really hard to list at all, but anyone who has read a story with her in it knows it. Every few years, she's brought back for laughs, and that's about it. There's not even anything cool about her that can be revamped to rehab the character, unlike just about everyone else on this list. Mm. And that is it. The top 10 most useless Marvel villains as ranked by CBR.com. And I'll find uh, maybe I'll find another list next week of something altogether different. Maybe the worst characters in Star Wars. Or maybe you already found that Star list, Wars. John. It's I know George. we can go over it. Oh. oh, okay. I thought you didn't like that one. <clears throat> I didn't like that one. Maybe I can find another one that's better. <laughs> that's... John had, didn't had, like that they one. They had Ewoks on it. Worthless. I like the Ewoks. They're fucking adorable. See, John's being biased. I Just because the they're cute. Was... Man. Take kill them all. That's it for the more you know this week. All right, cool. Thank you, John. All right, now it's time for our main topic of the week, but we're not doing that just yet because we have our what the fucks. Do you guys have any what the fucks this week? Yes. Yes. You do. And now it's time for our what the fucks for the week. Okay, whoever wants to go first. All right, I'll go, because <laughs> otherwise I'll forget it. So, Scarlett Johansson. The current rumor, rumor, don't know how true it is, I haven't seen an official article, is that Did Disney has cut ties with her. Oh. And canceled Tower of Terror? Is that is that the right movie, Joe? Tower of Terror, is that what she's doing? Um, that's the rumor is that they cut ties with her, which I think is total. So let me preface this with, I am grateful that Black Widow was on Disney plus and I could watch it at home. But the fact that Disney's cutting ties with her allegedly, um, is total bullshit. If it's over that, because yeah. she's suing them. I mean, sh it's a breach of contract on Disney's part. They shouldn't yeah. be cutting ties with their employee what kind of good faith is that for breaching the contract in the first place and yeah i think it's just total bullshit that they're potentially cutting ties with scarlet after everything she's done for disney she finally got her own movie and <clears throat> i feel like they're just like well she her character's dead so we don't even need to worry about it just get out of here type of thing and i think it's total bullshit and I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Yeah, it definitely seems... I mean, if they are cutting ties from the outside, just as a uh, random uh, perspective, it seems like they're being vindictive over her suing them. Mm -hmm. Right. But... Which I think... I mean, if, if they do have another movie that she's supposed to be in, and they're like, never mind, we're not doing this movie because you're suing us, then it's definitely vindictive. Yeah, it's total bullshit in my opinion i mean she's I, I know there's those people out there that are like you're rich why are you suing them stop bitching about it but i mean at the end of the day disney is richer they yeah. are breaching their contract with her and she didn't get rich by by not going after her money that's her money and right disney fucked it up that's part of the contract you're supposed to get more money for a theatrical release yeah. Fine. You should get your money. It was a great movie. You, I'm not so sure on the lines of everything of what an executive producer does. I assume they fork out money to say, hey, let's make this. I'm going to put my money in. I don't know. So I could be wrong. But she was executive producer on Black Widow. So she had a lot staked into it. It's not like Disney just did everything. I think Scarlett did her part. It was her movie. She wanted it. And now Disney's just not giving her her dues for it. Yeah. And if they're cutting ties because she's requesting that and it's a breach of contract, then I think it's total bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Anyone else? Joe? Not my monkeys, not my circus. Fuck. 
<laughs> I don't know the full details. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that there's something that's been left out because we can't really trust the media anyway. So I'm pretty sure unless we get like the full of uh, uh, the legal document of why she's suing or to get the contract from Disney, everything is speculation at this point. So yeah, it sucks. Um, but then again, I mean, we're seeing this all over the place. I mean, hell, we're even seeing it at work. Mm -hmm. uh, companies are saying you're, you're worthless, you know, mm -hmm. um, dime a dozen. Fuck. We'll find another actress and make her a big star. Anybody else want to be in a Disney movie? I'm pretty sure there's somebody else that wants to step up and take, you know, whatever. So they're just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like Disney can do whatever the fuck they want to. They're Disney. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to agree on what Disney did to her because it's it's shady right. and fucked up. But looking exactly. at it from a business side of point, looking at it from what Disney's looking at, if you were to like, let's say I were I were to sue my company right now, I guarantee you I'm getting fired pretty damn soon. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Because you're, no, you're you'll get fired. You're going to get definitely. fired. They're going to cut ties. It's the same type of thing. So it's fucked up. Yes. But I, I think for them, they're just like Joe said, we can find any Joe Smo and turn him into that star. We'll turn you into a star, see, you know, but I mean, that's just how it's going to be. It's, it's, it's business. It's money. It's stupid. Miguel. But what I'm saying is if you're suing them for a legitimate reason, example, breach of contract, <clears throat> we both signed this legal document and now you're going to fire me because you didn't hold up your end of it. It's bullshit. It is. There, could, there had to have it, been a it, loophole mm -hmm. that Disney was like. We're gonna release it on on uh, on uh, Disney Plus Premiere anyway, um, because the contract didn't specifically state theater only. You know what I mean? So, but there might have been a it, loophole then, for then, them to get away with it. But I thought that's why she was suing them because it was supposed to go to theater. That, only. That's my understanding as well. That's what everybody based off of what the media is reporting out. So. Yeah, I mean, because if I, that's not true, then she has no grounds to sue. Right. And it's just frivolous. Well, we'll see how far it gets. We'll see if it goes to the court or if there's going to be a settlement. Because I know the movie Free Guy, which I believe is also Disney, has a 45-day contract for theaters only. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just like Joe well, said. I mean, we don't know everything, right? Well, I mean... To that point of the 45-day theater-only contract, I am confident that the Black Widow contract was signed way before any signs of this whole straight-to-video-on-demand model. So, Free Guy, probably not so much, because Disney, because Black Widow was pushed back so many times. Who knows when that those contracts were completed and done? We they don't. could have said extenuating circumstances because of COVID allowed them to release it on uh, Premiere Plus. I don't know. This is all speculation. We don't know the final. I'm not going to put my faith yeah. in Disney. I'm not going to put my faith in Scarlett Johansson. Scar until Joe. I get the deets. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, Scar Joe, whatever. But until I get the deets, then I can say, okay, clearly, clean cut, fuck Disney because, or excuse me, Disney fucked Scarlett Johansson because it clearly states right here. The movie will be released in theaters only, and you know it will make X amount of dollars, or will pay, or whatever. I don't know what the stipulation was. So, oh, and that's why at the beginning of this whole conversation, I yeah. said the rumor is we don't yeah. know what it if she's been had her ties cut with Disney or not. Um, we don't know all the details, but mm -hmm. if this is what happened, it's crap. And those yep. are my thoughts. Yeah. <clears throat> For sure. Any other what the fucks this week? Fuck you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, my what the fuck is I did not get my uh, child tax credit payment this month. Yeah, we just got ours today. And and did you get it? Were you waiting for a direct deposit or? Yeah, because we were waiting for the same thing. We got ours in the mail. Oh shit! I better text my wife. <laughs> Baby, go get the mail. Check the mail <laughs> quickly. Yours came in the mail today. Yeah. yeah, we got paper mail today. Interesting. So yeah, it, there was what? a thing that went out. Uh, I think mm -hmm. Jackie was telling me yep. uh, that there was a glitch in the matrix, <laughs> yeah. and uh, they 
weren't able to direct deposit this one, so they mailed it. Um, but the next one, which would be September, will be direct deposit. So you didn't get yours either, Joe? I haven't checked my mail. So that's why I just Are say. Are you supposed to be direct deposit? Baby, yeah. I said, okay. baby, get the mail. Yeah, check the mail. There is a glitch in the yeah. system. There was a We had a bathroom window in our bathroom, and then she went back in the bathroom, and the window's not there. There's a glitch in the Matrix. It's crazy. I saw a cat in my living room, and I don't have cats. <laughs> so just check your mail, everybody. <laughs> We go yeah. check my mail. Maybe I get John's check. <laughs> That'd Bullshit. Be so funny. <laughs> Shit, I want John's check. Yeah, dude. Was that I like need my check. Seven kids? What is that? I'm just kidding, John. Say, what? <laughs> Say seven? <laughs> just kidding, John. I mean, I get 750 bucks, but it's not seven kids. My brother has six kids. Damn. Somebody was bored. <laughs> well, two of them are fosters, but yeah. <laughs> If it's still to foster, it's still like you have to sit down and make that decision. Like, is there anything else there's in life no, that you want to do before let's foster two more kids? There's no uh, accident with a foster. That could yeah, be right. intentional. There's, there's too much paperwork that goes into it, but it, still, I mean, you have to have that decision. The, Chris. Hold on. In my situation, <laughs> fostering sounds kind of good if I can get a couple older ones to take care of my babies and then we can go out and party. <laughs> you know, that's oh, a good okay. strategy. But Chris, it's that's like what that somebody one... at work said today. <laughs> Chris, it's like there's a TikTok out there where the guy says, hey, do you guys think it's okay to foster an 18-year-old? Hey, man. What? But he meant it in a perverted way, Chris. Oh, never mind. Not oh. like that. Never mind. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I was talking about the help me out with the household and shit, not fucking. Yeah, just a free babysitter. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, one of my co. We were talking today. My coworker was like, "Yeah, my wife mows the lawn, or I'll mow the lawn." I was like, "I got my kids to mow the lawn." It's like I was thinking about adopting an older kid to do some more, just so we have some like house chores. I was like, "Yeah, I <laughs> well, we just hire a neighborhood kid." Say, hey, I'll pay you 50 bucks or no, 20 bucks. No, so you don't okay. have to pay them. You yeah, just tell you, them to do if it. You, if you foster, then the government pays you, and then you don't have to pay the kid. Yes. You just got to feed him. Ding, ding. Which costs money. <laughs> but the government pays you What if you you're lucky you end up adopting like, like a Samoan kid, and he's like nine years old, and he's as tall as Chris. Joe. And he's like, and he can mow the lawn. But he's gonna eat you out of house and home. That new dog that you got, we're gonna have to like fucking barbecue it so you can eat it. <laughs> Jesus. Joe, I'm saying, he's you gonna said, eat you you said Samoan, and... not Korean. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I, I get right, Joe's I point. Like, yeah. You're not gonna have enough food in the house yeah. for a Samoan child. Yeah. No, you're going to have to put but a lock on the fridge. You do know you get a choice, right, Joe? You don't have to take the Samoan. You can take the little guy over there in the corner that doesn't but that if, eats like if maybe But if I have an opportunity... Two that, croutons and a broccoli you know, leaf. I mean, come on. Take a Samoan? They, they're going to the NFL. They're yeah, going to the NFL. Oh, that's I don't care true. what team they play for. They're going. Raiders. I'm going <laughs> to... The trolling begins. Uh, you said sure you not. didn't care what team they played for, Joe. <laughs> And then you sure want to make sure that that's accurate. I'm calling then, you out on that. Then that's, what, that's my failure as a foster parent. Because if he, he gets drafted by team. the Raiders, if he gets, well, if he gets drafted, drafted by okay. the Raiders, do you disown him? No you're going to be a damn Raiders fan. Fuck, no, I'm not. I'm going to have. Okay, okay, that, okay hold, the, hold the phone. Hold no, the phone. yeah, you're I need to hear this. Tommy. Decides he wants to play football. He Your goes blood. to college. He gets picked first in the draft by the Raiders. Number you know one they they'll be la- They'll get the first pick in the draft. <laughs> they're the Raiders. And he gets drafted by the Raiders. You're not going to root for your son on the Raiders. I'll root for my son. A Raider. I'll root for my son. A Raider. A Raider. No. The wide receiver number 14. Go. When it, when, when it comes to... <laughs> When it comes Tommy to Finley times catches a, year. a touchdown for to win the Super Bowl for the Raiders. <laughs> Yay! Do you cheer? Do you cheer at that moment, or do you go fuck? And I'll just be there with my Chiefs jersey, like fuck. You're a lion sack of shit. <laughs> no, what is this? Lion, lion, yeah. pants yeah. on fire. What if it's the AFC Championship against? Oh, who do you root for? <laughs> you root for the Chiefs. <laughs> He's already got money. He's got the rookie contract. I don't care. What's Fuck worse, the Chiefs forever, but I'm or, still rooting right. for my team. What's worse, the Raiders or the Broncos? Uh, oh, Raiders. Dip. Okay. 
Would you? Could you hug a, a Bronco fan? Could you? Or could you hug a Raider fan? I'm just trying to figure out what. Where you? Who's your? Who's well, your? It depends go-to? on what kind of hug you're talking about. Like a Sandusky hug? No, or? no, we're we're not Sandusky. Just a regular buddy oh. hug. You know, like. Yeah, dude. I don't I hug Raiders Raider fans. Fan. I mean, my know. uncle's a Raiders fan, but that's he's the only Raiders it's, fan that I know. That's that's well, family. That's different. My, my stepbrother is, but yeah. Joe's a half brother. He's a Raiders fan, but uh, I don't get to see him that often. But so, so my favorite player, Charles Woodson, played for the Raiders. And if I had a Charles Woodson Raiders jersey, would you give me a hug? But I know you're not a Raiders fan. Nah, that's true. I'm a Charles Woodson fan. He might not touch you for that day. He might not hug you. Actually, I should say hug. High five, <laughs> elbow bump, fist bump, bump. And Stay away from me, COVID related. Yeah, like elbow feet. bump. He'll be like six feet, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than COVID. He'd be like twelve feet, bitch. Yeah, get away from but me. But anyway, so anyway, uh, my direct deposit. Back to what the fucks. My direct deposit. I have not gotten my uh, stimulus check yet. So after the podcast, I will go check my mailbox. Check. Mail. I haven't gotten any of them. So fuck you guys, all of you. <laughs> you don't have any real children, so stop it. Yeah. Your babies just don't count. Sorry. Be happy. Okay, any other what the fucks this week? Yeah. Tommy's going to play for the Raiders. <laughs> Shut up, John. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to do exactly what fucking Eli Manning did to the fucking Chargers. I, I'll get him a good agent and they'll be like, no, he doesn't want to play for them. No. Hmm? Okay, the Raiders trade their pick to the Jets. I don't care. It's not the Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders trade their pick to the Broncos. Cowboys. Oh, like, not... He'd be closer to home. Would you semi root? Would you would you semi root for him if it was the Broncos? Would it Wait. be like a woot or something like like? So <laughs> is Denver closer to Flagstaff? Actually, no, Vegas. Vegas. Uh, I was thinking. I was thinking. Oakland. Fucking L.A. Hmm. But yeah, no. Oakland. Vegas is closer. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm no, they're not going to play for the fucking Raiders. No. Anyway, you'd be happy with a Cardinal fuck? though. Go on. I mean, yeah, I could just be like, oh, Arizona, okay, cool. He's at home. He's at drive home. Drive down, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you lost. I'm sorry, son. You should have known getting to that organization. But anyway, um, <laughs> he'd be like, yeah, but look at my paycheck. He'd be like, good. Well, I don't take care. The, take their money, son. Yeah. But uh, my what the fuck? I think this is this happened. What was it? It was last night, wasn't it, Miguel? What? So I don't know what's going on with TikTok. Hey, are you talking about if, me cursing you all the time? I don't know if he's if if they're listening to or watching or fucking text messages or what. Anytime he and I get into it, we start talking shit. And next thing I know, he talks about, oh, there's fucking, because I send him, like, he'll send me something. And I'm like, you want to go? You want to go? So then <laughs> I sent, yeah, I sent him. Well, this happened last night, actually, between the two of us, not in the group chat. So he sent me that. something. Yeah. So I sent him this other TikTok with this, this lady or whomever picking up tomatoes on the ground. But she was actually picking up like tarantulas. Yeah, and she was, like, holding them in their hand and flipping them upside down and all that shit. Whatever. So then he's like, watch, you're going to get fucking ugly feet. Like, three swipes. There's a TikTok of a chick with the bottom of her feet, like, black as my chair. Because she was walking around barefoot, and they're dirty as fuck. And it was just gnarly. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how is it that he says, you're going to get dirty feet. Or ugly feet and sure as shit. Three <laughs> swipes and there's a fucking. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Anyway, well, he's not recording. Well, audio he is podcast. audio recording. Ah. Uh, wonder if his well, power this, went out. Uh, this I guess derail brought to you by Chris's internet service. I guess we'll have to pull it from the stream. Sorry, Twitch. Sorry, monkey. Because you're the only one listening. Well, we got <laughs> ice wizards. Oh, hello, ice wizards. Anyways. Anyway. So, I just thought, it, I just, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, every time I wish something bad on Joe, it happens like three swipes later. But uh, the original 
So what started this whole thing off was I said Joe would say power. Yeah, I kind of assumed so. Um, so the whole reason this started was I sent Joe a TikTok and I said, sweet dreams. And it was what appears to be a thirst trap, but then there's some horror cosplay associated with it that just jumps at you. And so I sent that to him and I'm like, sweet dreams, Joe. And then that's what started the whole thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you want to go? You want to go? <laughs> So then I, I was going to message him and I was like, send that one to Chris, you know, and he would open it and he'd be like, you know, oh. anyway. Yeah. So, so John, just for context, me and Joe send each other thirst traps or titties or ass all the time. And we just don't send it in the group chat because we figure you guys wouldn't appreciate it as much as we do. You are correct. So that's why we just, we just send it to each other. So, so that's where that comes from. I'm guessing Chris is back on his phone, maybe? He's trying to. On my phone, I'm waiting for my internet to come back up. So. Oh, is your power back? Yeah. Or or was Jackie just at the breaker box turning the garage off? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> back on. Cook. There we go. As long as it wasn't one of the girls with a fork in the outlet, right? No, I mean, everything went pitch black, like, just in the middle of the what the fuck. So I'm like, there's my what the fuck. I've got more than that. Did, but... you, did you scream? Yeah, I got a little scared because it's it's dark as fuck in here. Yeah, scream like a little girl. Uh, now, I sh- <laughs> now I should send him that TikTok. You should. I told you. you should send yeah, but you. he's on his phone using Discord, so he's not going to be able to watch it. No, I'm actually on Discord on my computer now. It switched back oh, over. Yeah. Hey, Chris, for that whole portion that we were just talking about without you... Do you mind stitching it from the Twitch feed? That's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. That's how I did it last time, too, when it shit fucked up. You guys didn't know it fucked up, but it did a couple episodes ago. Are you gonna, uh, let's is see. your camera going to turn on, or are you going to... He's on his phone, John. Hold on. I'm John on just doesn't want to be listed it's, to this part it's of switched. Yeah, you're damn right out. I don't. Hold on. I'm switching it back over. It's still on my computer. Picked it up. I just got to switch over. Okay? Hold there, on. John. Are you happy? Fuck. Yeah, but then when it switches back, he's got it. <laughs> oh, I didn't move him. I just turned off Prodigy. Oh, there you oh, go. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. What was the other what second. the fuck that I had? There we go. Um, Coming back now. Wasn't important. Fucking wasn't important. How do you like that Gabriel Iglesias pop, Joe? It's not mine. I think it looked really sweet. It was signed. Um, I got the orange signature on my. Or excuse me. Sessie got the orange signature on her Gabriel Iglesias pop. I'm gonna shut one so, thing off. Hold it wasn't any uh, for her. Any afterthoughts that you should have got too? No. Chosen no, we're not. We're not. We're, we're not looking for, you know, like quick turnaround. We just, you know, want to hang on to them and display them. Well, that'll have long turnaround too. But Chris has quite the stack going on behind him. This power thing, bullshit. Yeah, it is. All right. Christ. So there was another what the fuck. Uh, it was at work. I was talking to a coworker, and uh, he's, um, he's, he's probably going to listen to the podcast. I'm not going to name his name, but he knows who he is. Uh, Chris Gilbert? Yeah. Well, we were talking <laughs> about Chris, and we were talking about you, Miguel, because we were talking about Council Drones and how we were all founded. Talk, to you, talk about you, John. Um and he listens to podcasts while he's at work because he gets all of his work done like within the first two hours of the day. And then he's got the rest of the day to kind of just chill. So he's like, I'm normally listening to a uh, podcast on Spotify. And I said, yeah, we're on Spotify, you know, we're on iHeartRadio and everything. So he's like, cool, I'm going to listen. And the more and more that he and I talked, he's like, he has a game or he wants a game room. I told him how to do his setup. He wants me to, you know, send him some stuff for PC setup. Um, he's been gaming on Atlas. He's been gaming on Arc, uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, he wants to get into Star Citizen. Oh yeah, that's a crazy cool game. Yeah, and he's actually played Elite Dangerous as well. Oh nice. So he's played the games. He's a gamer, um, but it's just right now he's got a wife. And I think a three-year-old, two or three-year-old. And, uh, yeah, he's trying to do find something that. about that wife thing. Yeah. Well, he actually said <laughs> when she plays Call of Duty, <laughs> she's, she's like killing it. 
<laughs> John. You said you said right now he's got a wife. Like he's trying to correct that problem. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I held back. Like, uh, it sounds like that can be fixed. I can't yeah. tell the future. I'm not gonna. I'm not wishing that on anybody. I'm just saying. Just, right now, just he's the got way a wife. you said it made it sound like he was like, eh. hey, right now he's got a wife, yeah. but that's going away soon. So yeah. he's gonna I didn't be able say to right now take his man cave and. At, you know, he's at the moment, daughter for whatever. I didn't say that. At the moment, you know, he's got a wife. At the moment, right? <laughs> at the moment, I'm married. At the moment, at the moment, John, you're he's married. Capable to play games as much as he would like to. Yeah. yeah. At the moment. Why? Because he's got commitments, responsibilities. But anyway, um. What was the what the fuck? Um, shit. Did he like so our yeah, show? Our no, podcast. Yeah, well, he has, yeah I know, no, I know. I'm trying to get back to what he was talking about. Um, fuck, I lost it. Shit. Funkos. Huh? Does he collect Funkos? No. He wants to. So he wants to build his game room, and he wants to collect, but he wants to, you know, like collect right away. So he's he's got money to burn and he's just like, yeah, I want I want to, you know, statues and because he's been here to my house and he's been in my game room and he's I like, know you who know who I'm talking about. Brian, yeah. Yeah. And he he was like, Man, oh, I love the game room he's and I want to do this and do that and do this and do that. Yeah. So I'm just trying to help him out with all of that shit. Hell yeah. Um fuck, I lost the train thought. What the Has fuck? You started was the, listening the to fuck? our podcast yet? Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to him since the last, since last week, the end of last week. So I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that he's started listening, but we'll see. Oh, what's up? I knew dude? there was a, what the fuck? There was a, what the fuck uh, around that, but it's not jogging your faded memory right now. Okay. So I can't, yeah. My you... brain's gone. Did you drink a buzz ball? No, not yet. No, I, uh, no, Are you old. <laughs> I know what he do. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, dude. Nothing, man. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> Shit, dude. He's well, here. I have a, I have a few what the fucks, and I, I, this might rejog, rejog John's what the fucks if he hasn't talked about it yet. If I, if the power didn't go off and he talked about it already, a little uh, home, my... in, home improvement and stuff. Uh, no, my what the fuck was the taxes, yeah, but yeah, I have more yeah, when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it might go into this too, but anyways, well, we had another home improvement, uh, kitchen thing. Our, I damn near burnt down my house this week. Damn, Jim. And it wasn't like I did it. It was the dishwasher. So I was, me and my daughter were doing, you know, she's helping so me with the dishes. No, I was where I was doing it. Jackie was actually asleep at this point. She's decided oh, to take a nap, and I decided to be a good husband and do the dishes and get everything clean. And, well, it didn't go that way anyways, so I had the dishwasher loaded and everything, and I close it, and I'm over there making my daughter's lunch, and then all of a sudden, I smell burning plastic, like, mm. and it starts smoking, like, billowing out of this fucking dishwasher, just piling up, and I try to turn it off, and nothing's turning off. I cannot shut it off with the power button on the dishwasher whatsoever. And I'm like, and oh those are fuck! Usually hardwired. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're hard. They're not hardwired. They plug into an outlet. Oh, mine's hardwired to a uh, no mo- uh, wall. Most of the newer ones and stuff, the the modern ones nowadays, they plug into an outlet. But anyway, so I was like, fuck. What do I do? What do I do? And I had to actually like yell for Jackie to wake up so I can run out of the house and go hit the breaker on the dishwasher to shut it off. So that's what I did. I did exactly that. Woke her ass up. I said get in here, the place is smoking up and everything. It, the, like, the fire alarm was about to go off because it was getting really hazy in the house, and I ran out real quick, shut off the power, and, yeah, come to find out, there was... Normally, you would find, like, a piece of plastic or, like, a container or anything like that, like, melted into the heating unit. I found nothing when I drained the water out of it. There was nothing there. But once I got the water low enough, I found two holes at the bottom plat because we had a, a dishwasher is a plastic tank. It's not stainless steel. And there were two holes. There was a tiny hole and then about a hole the size of my pinky that I could like almost fit through the very bottom of the actual dishwasher itself. So I don't know what happened. I talked to Joe. 
he pretty much helps. He's my my uh, caretaker when it comes to this shit. It comes down, I'm like, oh, I got to call Joe. This shit's crazy, and how can I fix mm-hmm. this stuff? And he was thinking that maybe, like, a piece of metal touched the heating unit and then burnt through the bottom, because that makes sense, that it that it oh, put yeah. it put a hole in the bottom of that tub. Like, like a fork or... Yeah. Hell, at the time, I was joking around, and I said... Uh, oh. It was a bobby pin because <laughs> you know, Jaggy. Uh, I know John. I don't know if Jenny uses bobby pins or not, but my wife uses a shit ton of bobby pins, and so does Jackie. Jackie does too. So yeah, like we have if I have, bo- I'll probably have a bobby pin hidden somewhere in in my room oh, somewhere. Yeah. Absolutely. Even though she's not here, there'll be a bobby pin in there. But but yeah, so that's what I was thinking is something. There wrong. was nothing that could have hit the heating element and stayed hot enough to melt through the plastic. Unless there was contact between the heating element and the bottom of the dishwasher, and his dishwasher was older, like mm-hmm. it was there when he bought the house. So, yeah. yeah, so that's why it had the stainless or the the plastic bottom. Well, here here's here's the good thing though too, because my what the fuck goes a little bit longer than that this goes to where Jackie's helping me move in the new dishwasher into the in the house, and I I'm so glad that I went with a plastic tub again. I was gonna go stainless steel. It was a lot more, a little bit more expensive by a few hundred bucks, but I decided to go because we're, we're thinking about moving anyway. So we're hoping that this doesn't take a shit on us before we leave in the next year or two. So that's our plan anyway. So I was like, I'm just going to go with the cheaper option right now. Good thing I did because when Jackie was helping me move the dishwasher, so you've got that open area to, to shove your dishwasher in once you get it like leveled and ready to fit inside of that space yeah so jackie's helped me push it in and the way our tile works is uh the way they have it is there's like an inch thick of the tile and then they didn't put tile all the way through the space so it drops off yeah. into that space right so jackie's yeah. helped me push it in and my thumb was on the inside of that corner and she did not yeah right there right in the yeah anyways my thumb's right there. <laughs> like bowling, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. So my thumb's right in there in the corner, right? And she pushes the fucking tub in, and that shit snaps into my thumb. And I'm going, ah, ah, pull it back out. But luckily, since it was plastic. <laughs> the first time you said that. <laughs> pull it out, pull it out. <laughs> but it literally, it was pinching my thumb, like, like really, really bad. But since that corner was plastic, I was able to, like, bend it back and then, like, pull it out. Like, it was so crazy. It would have cut my thumb off. Y'all would have been calling me nine fingers or one thumb. I'm just saying. My thumb would have been severed off. If that was stainless would, steel, I'd have been like this. Like, hey, guys. I'm like, yeah. I'd have been calling you joystick because you couldn't use the controller anymore. They'd be so fucked up, dude. You guys have been like, I'll play you. I'll play against you. Be fucked joystick up. Joystick drone. <laughs> High four. <laughs> <laughs> That she would have hey, fucking Chris, tore my you, thumb off. Can you count to ten for me? <laughs> yeah, and I'd have been like, I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so glad hey, I went hey, with that. Hey, Chris, if the Cardinals are good, give me two thumbs up. <laughs> Fuck you, oh, dude. Never again. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Oh. I was waiting for all these jokes, too, when I told that. I'm like, this is great content for y'all to riff <laughs> off go. of. God damn. Well, I'm glad your thumb is still intact so you can shove it up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Miguel. <laughs> Uh, kudos. I like it. Good shit. Uh, God damn you, Miguel. And then fuck you on the whole the whole rubber chicken thing. You guys have been it's oh, been that... like an ongoing thing for a long time now. I mean, park. when it comes up, I can't help but send it. It's, so. it's okay. Why do you? Is... Go ahead, John. I mean, I understand Chris doesn't like the rubber chickens, but you made a comment in the group chat about throwing up. Did I so thought we story... I oh, thought we've ahead. talked about this before. Well, here we go back down memory lane. <laughs> okay, I'll have... oh, we had this we had this party. Go on, Joe. Right, <laughs> and it was I think it was Chris's birthday party. It was at his brother's house. Cheers. And we were all drinking. Me you know, heavily, especially drinking. especially underage Mr. Miguel over there. <laughs> uh, we were all drinking Alleg- allegedly. I know that I was allegedly. There. You were there. Yes. You, you were, were there. there. Anyway. That's how allegedly drunk he was. <laughs> right. So uh, our one of the friends, uh, Ray Ray, uh, he pulled out. Anyway, Chris was drinking tequila. He heavily. was drinking like eight, 1,800, mm-hmm. you know, just heavily, like from the handle, just pour a glass drink, pour a glass drink. So Straight, Ray yeah. had this rubber chicken, and he was just like, Arr! 
in in Chris's face so much that it made him puke. Yeah. And now you associate uh, the rubber, rubber chickens, chickens with the feeling of drinking too much tequila. No, with the feeling like that sound actually triggered my puking. Anytime he did that, I literally puked. Like it was like. Ugh! It was it, because I was literally that drunk that that noise made me sick in my mind. It made me throw up. It was literally that bad. I was that drunk. And so that's been the, an ongoing joke for the rest of my life, pretty much. It will be. It's okay, though. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the joke with, like, the heavy metal rubber chicken, the really tall one that goes, yeah. we were going to get that Because that would really fuck me sent, up. <laughs> then we sent the TikTok with the rubber chicken and then the guy dressed like the rubber chicken. I said, that's what I'm going to do for Halloween. It's like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but... And then the Jurassic Park theme with the rubber chickens. So... That's why I heard that dee, 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 with the chickens doing it. I'm like, because yeah. that's how it would be. It's crazy, though. You, you'd you have to like literally be there for that to actually see. It was legit crazy for me. I really didn't know what was going on. I was too drunk. I was fucked up. Right. Everyone else loved it. We were it. all fucked up. Yeah. It was fun, though. We've, we've had, we have a lot of stories. We might share them as we go on. Um, so stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> okay. I'll be here. Of course, you'll be here. So three, 300 episodes later, we're getting into stories, guys. This is great, right? right? Man. All right, so that what the fuck went. And then, let's see here. Going to buy the fucking dishwasher at Lowe's. I was with my father-in-law, and they're not going to be our sponsor, so fuck you, Lowe's. Because, no, I was at the appliance center, and you know how, like, you are you need help, and you're standing in line, and there are associates or employees that are everywhere and they're looking, they, they give you straight eye contact and they know that you need help. And then they fucking walk away. And, yep. and then there's another guy that does the same thing. They're not doing shit. They act like they're sweeping or something. Like I'm just cleaning over here. I can't help you. I'm so busy. No, fuck that. We got ignored for more than an hour before I could even say, Hey, and I've, I have a, I have a credit card ready to go. I just want to purchase it, load it in the truck and go. But they're like, you can't do that here at the register. You have to do it at the appliance guy. And the appliance guy ignored us the whole time. Anyways, Miguel? Were you wearing a Cardinals jersey? Because I would have ignored you too. No, I actually was I was wearing my Star Wars shit. So I wasn't wearing any Cardinals stuff that day. I think I know what it is. Yeah, uh, Harvey was with me. So Harvey was with you and you're impressed, Skit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put two and two together. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was. Uh, I need somebody to explain that to me. Uh, let's just say it was Harvey's l- black. Harvey's like and a Prescott is racism. Very much so. Eh, oh, okay. It, I mean, it, not entirely, but it it's it's up there. I would have oh, to say really? it's up there in the in the realm of Scottsdale or Snotsdale. Well, Snotsdale's just they're just snobby. They don't yeah. give a fuck. They're just we make more money. Than no. you don't care about you. But Prescott is like. I don't know. In, in some ways, but yeah, you know. it, it it was just it it fucking pissed me off. It was fucked up. And then once they knew, like, oh, you're here just to buy. I'm like, yes, I want to buy this shit and get out. I don't want to do any credit plans. I already have that settled. Give me my shit and let's go. Harvey, go use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, leave for a second? That makes it better. What? What? Then I can. F- f- it's that's how he got helped. Yeah. Well, they weren't going to help him with Harvey standing there. Well, what I did, I actually, I walked away and I went and found another lady that was, that was acting like she was busy. And I was like, excuse me, ma'am, I need this. And she went in the back and found the dishwasher that I needed. And then she brought it to me and we're standing by the appliance yeah, guy. Karen. Yeah, exactly. I had to do it. Miguel, what are you going to say now? Uh, that <laughs> sounded very Karen of you. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Yeah. The, way you, did, the way you just did it on camera, you're like, excuse me, miss. <laughs> I want to buy this and you're not helping me. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I, went, I hey, sounded very Karen of you. I, yeah, I went that's Karen. I, that's what I said. I was like, oh, hi, Karen. I went very Karen on him. Yes. I was, it was more, I was just fucking irritated, dude, because they're ignoring us. I get like, you. that's fucked up customer service. Like, regardless of skin color or what, fuck you, Lowe's. That's all. I, I mean, to, to waste my fucking time, to waste our fucking time. Fuck you. That's all. I, I mean, it was just dirty. So, anyways, they won't be our sponsor. So, <laughs> all right, That's cool. That's why we like the. 
Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Home Depot. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we're going with the deep. Although I am very appreciative of the former Lowe's girl on TikTok. Joe probably knows Lowe's what I'm anymore? talking about. Huh? Former Lowe's girl? Yeah, she's no longer with Lowe's. Oh, she get fired? She's making more money on TikTok. Oh, Fuck. definitely. That makes sense. <sighs> makes sense. Those, those TikToks were entertaining. Honey, yeah. I need to go to the Lowe's. <laughs> right? We, yes. Yeah, those are the ones who are like, we're going. He drops his drill in the bucket of water. We're going to Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a hammer through a window. We're going to Lowe's. Yeah. Shit, yeah. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. This, this is all. And I'm going to say it this way. Everyone hates it, but Prescott. Fuck you, Prescott. They hate They hate when oh, you say yeah. Scott. You get, they, Scott. They're yeah. like, they're like Prescott, Prescott. Don't say Scott. Fuck that well, shit. Well, it's spelled Prescott. Yeah. It's not Prescott. Yeah, but they, but yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that's how they are, dude. They get all butt hurt. Yeah. It's crazy. Get my pickup truck. Stop, yeah. stop fucking being old age bullshit. Oh, having a pickup truck, Joe. <laughs> Joe don't need one. He just throws everything in his Tiguan. It's a Touareg, jackass. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Is hey, Sassy's Joe, a Touareg? You, what's wrong with having a pickup? What's wrong with having a pickup? It's stereotyping. Okay, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm stereotyping. Told. Bunch of hick ass hillbillies living in the hills of Prescott. Racist as fuck. Judgmental as fuck. That's fucked that's up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking about them, them F one fifties. That's what he's talking about, though. Oh, that's oh yeah, because they're you know them the Ford boys. Like, hey, like you got a purr in my house. I, I really <laughs> like those TikToks where they're like, "Would you be gay for one day for a billion dollars?" And they either put on a cowboy's shirt, jersey, and hat, or they go and get in a Ford. Right. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho, those were my what the fucks. I don't think I had anything else. Oh, uh, Jackie actually had one that she wanted me to share. It's from DoorDash. So uh, today, so Jackie works front desk at our company, and she does lunch orders for people and shit. She decided she got this order in for nine lunches from DoorDash, and she got these lunches, and they said they delivered them at 1210 today. And the person, the people who got, never got them. There were nine lunches from Pato Thai. That's very expensive. And they never showed up whatsoever. So she called DoorDash and they were like, we can actually get those meals to you. Sorry, sorry that didn't get delivered or something like that. And they said, we can get those expedited to you at 4 p.m. What the fuck? Lunch is over, bro. It's 4 p.m., like, dinner time. Like, what the fuck? Everyone, it's for a meeting. Everyone's gone already. Jack is like, no. We're like, oh. Well, and, and then they're like, we can refund you the money. Jack is like, we just want our food. We got hungry people waiting for, for lunch. Can you give us our food? And they're like, okay, well, then we can get it to you at 145. They're like, no, we want our food now. Like, what's... And then they wouldn't refund her money. After all that said and done, they couldn't help her. They wouldn't refund her money. So then she just... What the fuck? And it seems like the DoorDash guy is literally fucking pigging out on nine fucking lunches from our company. This is dirty bullshit. Yeah. Fuck these delivery companies. So, yeah. Jackie wanted us to... Fuck you, DoorDash. Fucking DoorDash. Every, Every time I... Sponsored by them. Anytime nope. <laughs> I have Little Caesars delivered by DoorDash, they fucking fuck it up somehow. Dude, they're and most of the time it's because they don't bring my two liter bastards. I honestly think that there's somebody on, in that up here that's pocketing all this shit. They're just getting free lunches and shit. And no one's doing anything. No, because it seems like they're not re, they're not going after the person who ate those fucking. That's a hunt. She says a hundred over 150 bucks worth of food. No, there's a lot of fucking money. It's crazy. But anyways, fuck you, DoorDash. All right, cool. Any other what the fucks this week? You know, I had some, but I cannot remember what they were. Yeah. Not Here, the... Here's a what the fuck for Chris. Go Chiefs! It's preseason, so go Chiefs. Cool. Who gives a fuck? Fantastic. We're going to drink and I have would, fun. That, yeah, I did have a what the fuck. Now I remember since you said go Chiefs. I'm not paying $200 for a pair of Patrick Mahomes shoes. 
what the fuck? I get it. Yeah, but two hundred dollars. Jesus. Did he, did he sign and they're up? like lime green. I don't want fucking lime green. If I can get them signed. Oh, they're not signed. They're just his shoes. No, that's like Adidas. No, that's fuck who that. he signed with. No, I'm like nah. Well, luckily our company has a discount with Adidas, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get. There you go. You know, <laughs> get a little deal. You there know. you go, dude. <laughs> Here's my what the fuck. I was hoping to go down to Phoenix, meet up with Chris and Joe and my nephew, maybe go play some top golf. No. After the game or Saturday. Huh. So I asked Joe, so when are you guys planning on going out and top golfing and whatnot? And he's like, Friday morning. And I was just like, I'll be at work. Me too. I don't Nobody cares, feel bad John. for you. Nobody Fuck cares, you, John. Miguel. Fuck Nobody you, cares, Miguel. John. You don't even live here. Maybe if you live here, we so? would care. So? I'm yeah, going to be at work all by myself. You guys are going to be in Arizona where it's fucking warm. You know what? I'm taking Friday off, guys, and I'm going down to Phoenix. Let's go. You can do it. Quit your you fucking bitching. Let's go. You're welcome. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm not. Oh, you still have time to schedule it, bro. You got time. I, I do, but. It's what? COVID. Tuesday? Go you got 24 hours, bro. Oh, that was my what the fuck. Bro, it just triggers all around. John. <laughs> uh. 16 people at work got named for being exposed to COVID. Whoa. You weren't one this time? Is that your what the fuck? Oh, I was named. Oh. But I'm vaccinated, so Boeing won't... I'm exempt according to Boeing's policy, so I still have to go to work. That shouldn't be how it works, but that sounds no. like a Boeing what the fuck. Yep. <laughs> Not a COVID what the fuck. Yeah. Well, it was just because COVID is why. So, yeah. Uh, of those 16 people, 14... No. Twelve got sent home. Four of us had to stay because we're vaccinated. Yes, Miguel. Didn't isn't the whole reason you got vaccinated because of Boeing? Yes, because the job I'm trying to get uh, sends you to foreign countries, and if you're not vaccinated, man, they they really bent you over with that one, didn't they? Yeah. It's okay. I still go in early. <laughs> I still get paid overtime. If I was sitting at home, I wouldn't get paid overtime. But you could play Warzone with me and Joe. It's true. I could also be doing the uh, other what the fucks that I need to talk about. Like oh, the my gutter. gutter. <laughs> you home wrecker. Yeah. The you home. and Chris, you're both home wreckers. <laughs> so, uh, so it, actually, yeah. it turns out. Go ahead, Miguel. I'm not a home wrecker because it's my own home. Well, and I don't have anyone too. else living in it. I don't oh, have anyone else living in it. So I'm not a home wrecker. <laughs> home... <laughs> I don't know what just okay. happened there. So, anyway. Uh, my gutter right outside my front door started pulling away from the fascia behind it, uh, and it rotted a bunch of wood back there. Oh, no. And so I had to pull the gutter down, pull the fascia down, cut out some rotten two by fours, uh, and in the pro and some uh, uh, tongue and groove uh, soffits. Excuse me. Bless you. Um, and in the process, I discovered that maybe not the previous owner, but one of the previous owners. Uh, had decided to patch that area because that shit had existed when they redid their roof when they redid the roof before we bought it. Oh no! So they already knew about the rotten wood under there and the water that was leaking under there, and they just patched it before they sold the they house. They bamboozled you. Yeah. So I had to pull down uh, um, ten feet. Oh, of soffits, God. 16 feet of uh, fascia, my whole gutter on one side of the house. It's probably 35 feet long, one gutter piece. Fuck, dude. Um, and replace a, a bunch of rotten wood. So I got that all done yesterday. Mm. And today I went and picked up paint and stuff and caulking so that I can caulk that shit, seal it up tight, and paint it. Damn, I didn't get this week's actually doing home it. improvement dirty talk is brought to you yes. by the Joker drone. Yes. So that is the outside project that I have. My other what the fuck about home improvement and well, maybe not, not even just improvement home uh, repair is uh, my wife stepped into our shower in our master bathroom and the floor is tile. Well, one of the tiles came up when she stepped on it. So we didn't notice, but the grout between the tiles was gone Ooh. in some areas. So I went in there with a scraper, and I scraped out the remaining grout and discovered that my scraper went 
through the cement board under the tile. Uh oh. Yeah. Right. So I may have to rip out my entire shower pan tile and re subfloor my shower. I got I still gotta go under my house. I haven't had time to get under there yet. So we're not using our shower. We have two showers in our house because that's the in the master bedroom. So uh is it uh, I have to get under my house and find out whether or not that water leaked through my subfloor or not, or leaked through the uh, concrete board. Because it still felt hard underneath the concrete board. The The scraper didn't get down, <laughs> couldn't go through the subfloor. So I'm hoping that it's just the concrete board is a little soft. Yeah. That's still... And not the subfloor. It's still sketchy when you feel something soft yeah. underneath because it's like, shit, that's yeah. water damage. And it, it kind of like the same type of thing that Joey was telling me when I... <clears throat> I That's pulled that <laughs> when I when I pulled that dishwasher out of the that space there was like two feet of water it was it was a lot it was not two feet it was like two maybe feet? six inches of water it was it was a good it was a good it's size of water two feet. Two, two feet. <laughs> I fucking don't shut up I'm drinking two, two feet. <laughs> yeah two feet I hate you guys anyway six inches right Chris? it was okay. it was six inches yeah six inches. <laughs> There's a shit ton of water. There's a lot of water for the space that I had. And Joe's like, just make sure that it's not black underneath. And there's your concrete's not like the drywall's not soft and shit like that. Yeah. And it, yeah, I just, it's scary when you see that shit. So I get it, dude. I get it. Yeah. So, yeah, I got to go into my house and make sure the subfloor doesn't look like Fuck. it's got water damage. Because it's that's going to be a big project. But I had to get my gutter fixed first because that's outside. Yeah. And that would just continue to rot shit if I didn't fix it. Uh, and once I'm done, I still got to call cock and paint it. Um, once that's done, then I can start working on the shower pan. But uh, I'm also going camping this weekend. So hmm. it's been busy and I'm getting a dog tomorrow. So it's just been really fucking busy. Wow, man. I'm just loaded with stuff, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Good stuff. You guys got any other what the fucks this week? Nothing? Right. I do. John? I do. So, uh, it's this is a weird one, sort of. <sighs> Personal. So, my wife and I were napping. Hmm. <laughs> and, uh, napping. When we woke up from our nap, she discovered that her nose ring was missing. She's got a little stud in her nose. And, uh, all of a sudden, she runs into the bathroom and she starts coughing. Somehow, her nose ring went pulled through her nose and went down the back of her sinuses, and she spit it out into the sink. Whoa! Fuck yeah! Wild. Yeah. Like still intact, or like was the backing yeah. still? So, so no, like it's the... it's it's got a stud on it, and then it's got a long uh, stem, and then it does this little loop. So it's all one piece. Right. Okay. So and that, somehow it pulled so it's a through hoop? her. No, it's got it's got a little uh, stud on the end of it, and the back of the stud comes down and then does a little loop so that it re- so it like it holds on the inside of her nose. Okay. Hmm. So somehow during our nap, something pushed hard enough on the side of her nose to push that stud through the hole in her nose and down the back of her. <laughs> <clears throat> down the back and out of her mouth. Either that or it's got to be an awful lot of um, vacuum. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so then she was like, she tried to pull it through. She's like, I can't get it through. So we don't even, like, that's a ma- I don't even know <clears throat> how that even happened. But yeah, she was like, she thought because she, thought she had like a posed nasal drip because she had a, a cold so she thought it was just like posed nasal drip she's like man this is gonna be a big one so she went into the bathroom to spit out what she thought was a loogie out of her from her nose and out came her fucking nose ring because we were looking wow. on the bed for it we we're like where's where's your nose ring and fell out during our nap i couldn't find it and then she coughed it up and was like oh shit <laughs> oh my god adrenaline from those naps <laughs> you know sometimes you have some really realistic dreams when you're napping. Yeah. The whole so, I'm, still, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm still confused. We're trying to keep this like as clean as possible. I, I, this is probably like the say, cleanest discussion that so, we've had. John, we were just, just napping, say, guys. Calm down. I just want to say, John, I really appreciate the story from you. Yes. Of all people. This is great. This, but um, <laughs> let me just. So this is like, yeah, this is like hearing Flanders, <laughs> Flanders stories. So the, you know, <laughs> the, the nose ring came out in, intact, like a full piece. It didn't. So it is a solid piece. It's one piece. But how do you stick so that? Which is normally detachable to put in, correct? Right. No. 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 So no. It's, it's not it's, like an earring with the backing. Earring. It's it's got a loop. It's one solid rod. Oh, so it goes in end, like it's this. Looped. It goes like Yeah, so you you like, like rotate hook. it into the hole you fish and then push it down and then the 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 part that you rotate it in becomes the back. Now I'm really confused from falling out. Now I'm really confused. Yeah, so I we were too. We were like, how did that happen? Because then she tried to pull it, like pull it through the hole by hand, and she could not get it. Is she missing skin by her nose, or is no. there a hole there? What's but now on? she's freaked out. She's like, I don't like. What happens if I fall asleep again and I swallow it or something? I'm scared for Jenny too. Yeah. Were you, were you sticking your finger in her nose and doing no, that while no. she was napping? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> no. Absolutely not, Miguel. There was no nose play going on during They were nap. napping. <laughs> Maybe just some heavy breathing and some rhythmic rubbing. Rhythmic I rubbing. Snore, and I move my feet when I'm asleep. So, yes, yes, there was. You're right. <laughs> Good stuff, John. Good stuff. We'll leave, we'll let the listeners decide what happened there because. It's good stuff, John. It I was like napping. It. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Napping. Napping. We all everybody sleep sometimes. Their, yeah, everybody has their safe word. It's fun. <laughs> oh, oh, we love you, John. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that was my other what the fuck. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know how that I we still that we don't know how that happened. That oh, like, what the fuck? This is great, man. <laughs> Oh, this only happens organically. It's great. Okay, so we're going to move on. <laughs> and the paint in your bedroom isn't red, is it? Uh, well, I think one wall's No, no. No, it's not red. Okay. Okay, good. We're good. So, we're going to move on to our main topic. It's uh back for blood. So go ahead, Joe and John and Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. So, I mean it's, Good it's zombie. You know, everybody that's listening to the show, I fucking hate zombies. But this is fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Especially when you have like four people that that you can play with or three others that you can play with um, and not randos because when we played, we had a rando that didn't communicate, that stole people's shit, that, oh, you know, it's like we had to call out like, hey, I'm going to drop this. Don't pick it up. And they did it. And they pick it up. Fuck. And it's just like, yeah. So, but I, I imagine with three other, like four friends total playing together, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I like how it was set up, how it was in stages where you go through a stage, get into a safe room, um, level up your weapons, buy your first aid shit, run through another wave, and then you just continue to do that. I actually had fun playing it. Um, you know, I, I liked it. The graphics were cool. There's some things, yeah, it was open beta, so. Some things that were kind of buggy, but um, yeah, I thought it was really, really fun, um, suspenseful type game. Uh, you know, one of the things that was kind of funny after we played through, we were like, John was like, okay, I'm done with this. Um, you know, should we go play Warzone? And then Miguel was like, you want to play zombies? And John was like, if we're going to go play zombies, let's just keep playing Back for Blood. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so we went to Warzone. Because it's the same thing. Yes, <laughs> it is. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it basically, and that's what I was going to say, is it feel? I mean, it definitely feels a lot like Call of Duty as far as, like, um, you, you complete a level, you upgrade your shit. Hmm. And then you do the next level, and then you upgrade your shit. Um, it, it was it was really fun. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it did seem it was a lot more uh, uh, relaxed than the uh, Call of Duty zombies, the Black black ops zombies the black ops zombies is like it gets fucking chaotic but this zombie uh just it was a little bit it was a little bit more chill um 
lot, a lot easier to play, especially on the, uh, uh, the easy mode. Because you can you can play the campaign and select how difficult you want it to be. We I always put it on easy mode. I don't remember what it's actually called, but the easiest setting. Um, uh, the one thing that really does suck is if you're playing with a group of four people and somebody leaves, you end up with a bot. And those bots are absolutely fucking worthless. The spots are fillable, though. so They are fillable, is... but... They're... Yeah, not everybody. There's not a shit ton of people playing the game, so you could end up with bot for several rounds. Hmm. Joe, there was one thing that I noticed when uh, I think Miguel left, um, and then one, of, yeah, I think you left, and then when you came back, you came back as the character that Miguel was playing as. Yeah. So you yeah. took his equipment. Yeah. So if you leave, as long as there's one person still in the game, if you come back. And you pick your same character, you'll get all your shit back. Yeah, but so, if you pick yeah, I may, a character I, that somebody else is playing, you get their stuff. Hmm. I walked away for a few minutes and I timed yeah. out, so I came back and Joe was still there, but Miguel's mm-hmm. game had crashed. Yep. Which is when we were then like, all right, let's go play Warzone. But yeah, so I came back and I was like, oh, I want to play the chick with the spike bat, and I was like, wait a minute, I don't want this gun. Where's the spike bat? And so I picked up Miguel's equipment. When I picked her, mm-hmm. so that was kind of cool. That I mean, you still have the equipment that the the last. You're not starting from scratch. Right? Yeah, which would really suck. Hmm. I mean, as long as that one, as long as there's one of your teammates that's still in the game, yeah. if you're able to get back in and you pick the same character, um, you pick up your equipment. Yeah, so that's good. I enjoyed it. I would play it again. Yeah. For me, full disclosure, we did not play versus mode. We only played campaign mode, yeah, which is co-op campaign. Um, I do like the fact that you progress throughout and you can equip new cards <clears throat> each round, so you're constantly upgrading your stuff. Yeah. But personally for me, and I know I can get hate for this, Every game is repetitive, especially first-person shooters. Call of Duty is repetitive. It's the same thing all the time. But, I mean, I guess it's based on the story. Cutscenes, whatever's going on, um, not sure what does it for me. But Back for Blood, it felt just too repetitive for me personally. Um, I'd be totally fine with playing through the campaign with friends and then... Um, like I said, didn't play multiplayer, didn't play versus mode, so I have no idea what the end game looks like, but for myself, playing through the campaign, I don't see myself playing this game anymore. It, I, I see no, based on the beta, I see no appeal to go back and redo these levels. There's no replay okay, value? Not that I see based on the beta. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Joe, John? No, I Sorry. agree. Uh, I looked over at Joe, and he was doing one of these. Yeah, he's looking at TikTok. That's all that yeah. is. <laughs> but I was listening to Miguel, so... Yeah. But I, um, I agree. Like, it's a, it's a one playthrough type game. I mean, unless they, like, change up the levels. Um, the only other thing I could see is, like, you change up the difficulty, but hmm. at, the, at that point, you're just like, I already beat it. I don't. So what? It's harder. Who cares? You know? Yeah. Just go through it and... Yeah, but um, yeah, unless they unless they come out with like epic or legendary cards that the characters each character has like uh, fifteen slots for cards, and and you can equip different cards on that character. Um, but I think if you know if you come out if they come out with like legendary or epic cards that particular for that one character, um, like a times five stamina, and you start off with that, and then then maybe you know where it gives you more of the advantage and you're not it's not so much a survival game but just more of like a fucking cannon fodder let's just like serious sam just tear shit up and just blow you know guts and gore and everything flying everywhere that's all yeah because like call of duty i care about the story the back for blood beta i didn't care what was going on i felt like there wasn't enough it It was all it, it was all verbal like this is what's going on. It's like, okay, I just got to get to the safe room. Yep. That means nothing to me. Yeah. Call of duty. Like, yeah, there's, I I was just like, okay, we're playing this. And I think that's why 
when I initially played with John, I was like, uh, it's okay. Yeah, um, the initial settings on the the default settings were terrible because shut up. The default settings were terrible because they just <laughs> fucking like snap to enemy and like if I tried to aim for a headshot, it would like snap to somebody else. I'm like, this is fucking annoying. Granted, that's cha- uh, you can update your settings for that, but yeah. I- hey. I kept it that way, and I just kept ADF pulling ADSing and just switching from car- from enemy to enemy and shooting them in the head. Mine kept going center mass. I oh, could. I was doing no scoping. Yeah, yeah no scope. <laughs> well, I, I, I do that from time scoping. To time I was ADS quick scoping, and yeah. it would just jump from car- from uh, zombie to zombie. But every time I ADS, it would be center mass, yeah. and I would Mine try to aim for the head. I would aim for the up. head, and then it would make me snap to somebody else, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Oh, that's super annoying. So yeah, I mean, I mean, it could be fun for a playthrough. Um, like I said, did not play me versus mode, so don't know what that looks like. But, meh. What's my thoughts on Back for Blood? Meh. Do you, does anybody know if that's a Game Pass game or if it's going it to be? Is. It is. It okay. is not. So I'll probably will... play it. I will play it because it will be on Game Pass for sure. Yeah, it is. I don't know that I'd buy it. Okay. Because again, right. it, it feels exactly like Black Ops Zombies. The little it looked good. It it did look yeah. good. It seems more linear than than Zombies Black Ops Zombies. All right. Like you well, had a path and you had like yeah. you had an area. It's not just an open map. It's just like you had a path that you had to follow to get to the safe room, and then once you got in there, you progressed to the next part. Well, Black Ops Zombies skills. is is a game is a horde mode. Yeah. Whereas this is a get to the objective. Mm-hmm. So slightly different, Chris. So what I, so what I'm hearing pretty much is if you're to compare it to Call of Duty, it's like it's slower pace compared to Call of Duty, and then it's also more linear than Call of Duty. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, in like in you're a nutshell, confined to a certain area, and you had to like progress through it. Yeah. yeah. There's only one way you can go. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Get to the objective. So it's like it's a campaign. Whereas mm-hmm. maybe we're being unfair where Call of Duty Zombies is a horde mode. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Is and you said the story is not very compelling right now, correct? It in, in the beta, in the beta no. they just kinda you, they throw you in and they're like, Okay, you need to go do this, but they don't tell you anything about uh, where the zombies came from or right. why you're There's there, no who are these other people you're with. Mm. I mean, there there were some like audio things that I heard where one of the characters, like there's a mom and a daughter, and the mom was like, "Oh, that guy was butt hurt that we left him behind because you know, somebody didn't pick that character." That that's a very good point because the characters that that are progressing through the level, they have dialogue amongst themselves. Yeah, because hmm. I was playing like mom, who's the yeah. old the old lady, mm-hmm. and then me. Uh, Miguel was playing Holly, which is like the Harlequin knockoff, yeah. and then John had this um, long-haired man bun looking, like Puerto yeah, Rican it was like Hispanic or Puerto Rican or whatever that had a machete. Okay, um, but that's that's it. And then I think one of the, the the bot or the the other player that was playing with us had the 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 black guy. So gotcha. It was like as you're going through, there's a story that is being told amongst the characters that you picked. Okay. But you don't hear most of it because you're just, you're, you're going through just killing zombies. Like Mm. I, I have no idea what they, most of what they said. Uh, What I, the only thing I remember is mom saying that the fat guy was butthurt. They got left behind. So it's kind of like, do you remember Titanfall where they had all that action and shit and they had that story going, but you, it's hard to pay because they didn't put you, they didn't, immerse you into that is that kind of like what's going on in a way like like all the stories being told through the gameplay rather than yes. any scenes in right. between correct yes okay so and that now, and we know that doesn't work because we've seen that happen before and it just doesn't bring you into the story you don't pay attention you're trying to keep your character alive in that type of shit in the action yeah. i get it and that and that may just be the beta i mean maybe yeah. when the right, actual right. game comes right. out there'll be right. some cut scenes yeah does now, it now Cutscenes to other people. Cutscenes are annoying, and they don't want to watch that shit. Right. They just want to get to the action. But mm-hmm. I mean, for me to really enjoy a game, I'm going to want to know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, because well, the here. 
Yeah. The cutscenes provide content and story background and tell you what's yeah. going on. So context. Yeah. yeah. So do you think that this is probably something that the they probably will fix like once we get out of this stage and we're playing the actual hope game? So. Ho- hopefully, right? Because that'll that'll fuck them over yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I would imagine so because I mean it is a beta. Yeah. Um big asterisk. This is we're talking about a beta here. Right. Yeah. Um yeah, I would imagine so, because I would think in the beta, they want you to try out the game, make sure that it's functioning yeah. adequately for when launch comes, and they don't really want to give you too much content of what's going on in a campaign and a story mode, which mm-hmm. is what we've played. That, and that makes sense. That makes total sense. Right. Yeah. They got to they gotta keep that secret until it's fully released to make yeah. it special, and I get that, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, you know, hopefully, hopefully they do that and they know that that's what these we all us gamers want out of this. So we'll see. Cool. All right. Do you guys have anything else you want to add to Back for Blood, or is it is it is it something worth people trying out for Game Pass when yeah. it does come out? Game Pass. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Pass. If you have Game yeah. Pass. Try it out. It's it's right. fun. Um, hopefully, they will add more information to the game to get, make it appealing mm-hmm. uh, and keep attention and give you a backstory. Um, but even if even if they don't, if you just want to go out there and grind and fucking mow down some zombies, it, it's good. At, the game's good for that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Plus side, as far as functionality, I mean, I think it was really good that they have like each round, each level each checkpoint you get to upgrade your character or your abilities so and it's all based on what you equip beforehand so that is a different aspect each round you're and picking there's... a card that gives you abilities or your team abilities and upgrades your character yeah and there are uh crates throughout the map where you can add uh you can customize your weapons put on sights suppressors extended magazine stocks that kind of stuff to make your gun to have more firepower or range or ammo capacity and they're just these random crates on the ground that you have to actually find and then uh one more thing there's also like uh equipment that you equip so like you 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 have slots for uh medic uh medical supplies you have slots for bombs grenades so you can do a pipe bomb a grenade molotov uh, and then there's uh, shit like uh, ammo can, or you can get like a toolkit. And the toolkits are used for like picking doors. Oh, cool! So you if you find doors that you can that are locked and you can't open them, but if you have a toolkit, you open them. And then generally, there's those crates behind it where there's a bunch of special shit you could pick up. Nice, Miguel. And also, your weapons and attachments are very battle royale MMO esque, where they're common, rare. Okay. Whatever. They have the ultra. color coding. Yeah, you know, white, green, yeah. blue, yeah. purple. Yeah. The so standard all your weapons, coding. all your attachments for your weapons mm-hmm. have that. So once cool. you attach something to a weapon, you can't take it off unless you swap it out with something else. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So if you find a better gun, you can't take off the magazine as far as we are aware in the beta and equip it to your new gun. Unless you buy another magazine and swap it out and then it drops on the ground. So Mm, okay okay cool yeah sweet all right well good stuff we're gonna move right on down to our rando shit so do you guys have any rando miguel so (laughs) silas had his graduation party a week ago two weeks ago or hey what no what was this party it was not his graduation something else going away party going to college no it wasn't it wasn't even for him no, it wasn't. It was, it was for something else. Family barbecue. For something totally different, irrelevant. Quinceanera. Some other thing. Okay. Um, but Joe installed a dartboard, and I really want to get a dartboard now, oh, which brother. I grew yeah. up on darts. Gotcha. Who's up for darts and beer at my house? And I need to figure out where the fuck I'm going to put it. I'm here. Chris? I'm there. I'm there, dude. You know oh, me. Why are you shaking your head? Oh, because I... No, because he was know, pointing it to me. It's not, not this no, joke. No, brother-in-law joke. I got it now. I got it now. I got it now. Yeah. Correct. That's yeah. the Raider Joe. <laughs> yeah, that is the Raider. This is cheap. Give him a hug. <laughs> Who's up for it's darts? It's a good callback, John. For a couple uh, hours on end. 
Right. Yeah. Come on down, John. Come on, John. Oh, fuck, I would. Let's go, dude. So, You're vaccinated. Yeah, I need to figure out where I'm going to put a fucking dartboard and I need to order motorcycle. some shit on Amazon. Go, bring your bike, on the, dude. On the wall, like, right... To yeah, it is. like in between the room you're in and the one next to it. I don't know if that's wide enough, but like because you have that's the longest um, run in your house. Did you for the distance? Did you see my run for my dartboard? It wasn't. He's got more space than I had, right? Definitely not wide enough. Okay, never mind then. If yeah, it's, it's like six time, inch. You do it outside. Like how big's your backyard? He got he's got room. No, for that. you can totally do it outside, but I mean it's gonna be an electronic dartboard, so I'm not gonna leave it outside. Yeah. Plus wants... there's fucking mosquitoes. Yeah. And... We've already we've already talked about that. We know what's going on. Mosquitoes. Yep. Maybe I'll just get my garage. Mm-hmm. There you uh, go. Drywalled. Fucking A, perfect. All you gotta oh, do is of... buy like one sheet of drywall. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of my walls is drywall, we'll so we'll throw just throw holes that in wall. it with the dart. Who fucking cares? It's the garage. I... They're soft tipped, John. Are you familiar they'll with darts? Still, they'll still go through drywall. Eh, I mean, if you're that bad. I mean, you're fucking like the big unit trying to pitch it at the board. Jesus, the it's, it's all in the Randy wrist. Johnson it's not like in your shoulder. I I've played it. darts. I'm not good at it, but I've played darts. So I'm totally up for uh, darts and beer if you guys are on like Friday afternoons when it's like end of week and you guys need a break from before you go home, Chris. Friday, <laughs> me, Friday yeah. afternoon. Joe, made, Chris. Made, made, <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. I'll, I'm like down Wednesday for darts. To get there. John, you can just, I have a spare room. Come on, John. Just stay here. Yeah, you, but, but in we order need to get one of those. get there on a Friday, I have to leave here on a Wednesday. What? John. If, if you're driving, right? As far as I'm concerned, oh. that spare room. I, I will put your name on that door. You live there now, dude. That's your Aww. room, bro. Aw. <laughs> Don't get carried away. You're not staying in my room. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> you can stay in my room with me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I, um, I really want to get a <clears throat> dartboard and... I mean... I figure we don't hang out as much as we probably should, and I agree because of COVID, we yeah. don't go out drinking like we used to. I agree, and maybe, well, it's spiking again, but maybe we should start going out and playing pool again. But maybe we just hang out. Let's just let's do us, something. Us three, yeah, and uh, us four Thank with you. John. With John, yeah. if you show up, dude, it's hard to. Yeah, I know. I, I just give you shit because I can't. I know. Smooth, you know. I know. I live. We, I know. I live twenty six hours away. We want you here by our side all the time, though, John. Just so you know, bro. You're always yeah. yourself. Yeah, there's too much snow in Flagstaff. <laughs> My wife's never moving there. <laughs> but you said you would go to Phoenix, right? I I would move to Phoenix if I could find a job that pays me as much as I get paid to do as much as I do. I get it. As little as you do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the, we get it. We we know exactly what you meant there. <laughs> if you can find another job that lets you set fires, is what you're saying? <laughs> that was Kevin's fault. <laughs> That was Kevin. Fucking Kevin. Fuck, fucking Kevin. <laughs> God damn it, Kevin. Yeah, that's Kevin. Kevin! Okay. Good Kevin. shit. <laughs> you guys got any other rando shit this week? I did, and I can't remember what it all, is. All I got to say is uh, I sent this to you guys in a text, but Captain Carter, you know, Death oh, by yeah. Snoo Snoo, please. That's all Dude, I'm going to say. It was like, like I sent you in text before you watched it, and I sent to all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain Carter is such. In the animated show, let's just be 100% clear, in What If is much more badass than Steve Rogers was in the first Avenger. Yes. Yes, yep. and I even said that when I watched it with my kids. I was like, man, she's way cooler than Captain America was. She went straight into action. He just yeah. seemed like a little bitch. If you, go, <laughs> if you watch Captain Carter, or if you watch What If with... Captain Britain or whatever she's called. And Captain then you Carter. go and watch Captain America, the first Avenger. He is a fucking bitch. She Avenger. also, like if you were, because a lot of people were comparing uh, the Wonder Woman movie to Captain America, but I think Captain Carter would stomp the shit out of Wonder Woman uh, the way she was, the way she was doing. I know Wonder Woman's like goddess or whatever, but mm. I just think like toe to toe, like the way she was portrayed 
in the What If series that Captain Carter could have stomped the shit out of Wonder Woman and Captain America. So, yeah. and I, I do like the Hydra Stomper, by the way. I do like that. Um, the first Iron Man, basically. The first Iron Man, yeah. So it was actually Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, spoiler alert, Chris. I don't know if you've seen it, but you don't like animated stuff. So. I, I saw part of it earlier because I I saw it on there and I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. But I saw a little bit, so I I kind of know and I read about the story of of Carter. So. I understand it. I just didn't watch it all the way through because, I mean, I've got all this shit going on in the house and whatnot. So, but yeah, I, I get it. That's cool, though. I yeah. really enjoyed it. And I think, uh, let's see, tomorrow, today's Tuesday, so Wednesday is the um, the last time that we'll hear Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. Mm-hmm. So, because he actually did the voice acting for T'Challa. And uh, tomorrow's episode is What If Black or T'Challa was Star Lord. Okay. Oh. So yeah. So be it'll be uh T'Challa with Drax and Gamora and Groot and stuff. That's so. awesome. Is it T'Challa or thought it, I thought it was T'Chaka? T'Challa, T'Chaka, Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman. How's that? Is that better? It's T'Challa. Is it T'Challa? Okay. T- yeah, T'Chaka was his father, wasn't Chad. it? Chad. Right. I don't know. But what I thought was from what if it was T'Chaka was Star Lord, um, but what, whatever I don't whatever. Hmm. Either way, Chadwick Boseman's voicing it. Yep, the yeah. last time you'll you'll hear his voice is, that is uh, sad. Black Panther or very sad. Whatever. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah. Any other rando shit this week, guys? I'm getting a puppy tomorrow. Hey, I can't wait to hear all your what the fucks for that. That's going to be fun. I got a puppy right now. <laughs> He's a little puppy over there. Yep. Yeah, man. She's, yeah, she's eight weeks tomorrow, and her name is Freya. Freya. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're going to debut her on the next show? We're going to see her? Sure. I'll bring hey. her out. Cool. I, my question is, how is knowing that you're getting her tomorrow, how's Jenny doing? How's that? Yeah, how's she's that going? She's not excited. <laughs> He's not excited. He's not excited. So, um, follow up question: um, the fact that you're getting her tomorrow and you're working on Thursday because we already talked about how you're not going to be there for the Call of Duty event. Um, <laughs> what is she going to be doing throughout the day while you're at work? Well, my kids are all home for summer. Because that doesn't mean cool right shit. <laughs> oh no, no, it does because I told my kids that they're. On a, they got to be on that dog like a hawk to make sure she doesn't shit in my house. And there's poop I'm gonna, in your house. She's gonna be attached it, to my daughter. It's it's gonna happen because she's a. Oh, pup. I know, I know, I know. Oh. But to minimize it, I'm just gonna say now, it is August seventeenth, twenty twenty one. I want to go on the record. Seven fifty three on the record. PM. Seven fifty three PM. I want to go on the record to say that that dog is going to love the shit out of Jenny and Jenny is going to love the shit out of that dog. And it will no longer be John's dog. And when he has your dog's gone. That's how Joe got a dog. (laughs) That's exactly how I got a fucking dog. (laughs) That's how I got a second dog. Yeah. I'm, I hope that's true. I really hope that that is true. And I would be happy. It always happens that that way. It always happens that way. It's the person that hates the dog or doesn't care for the dog. It actually gets attached and wants the dog more than the person that got the dog. Nailed it. Yeah, my, my, my and the dog senses Ninja. that. The yes. dog senses that. And the dog's like, you don't like me? Well, guess what? I'm going to be right here next to you. I hope yeah. I hope to God that's true. So, Chris. Yeah, my dad. So, sorry, Chris. Go ahead. Oh, you're fine. It. I have a dog, Bear. We the Two, two of these guys know who Bear is. And he's he's a wild dog. He's He's a little off the hinges, right? So... But my father-in-law absolutely hates him. Hates a strong word, but he does not like this dog. And Bear is his best friend. He will not leave him alone. And it's true, Joe. He senses that, and he's his yep. best bud. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I hope it's true. I hope that she melts it's, her It's going to take, gonna like, happen. one or two times with her sitting on the couch, and the dog, the puppy comes up and, like, Leans against her, Dude, gives her puppy easy. dog eyes, and that's it. Done. It's just the instant, like, oh, yeah. 
She, yep, she's got you. Mm-hmm. Thing Yo. is that the, this puppy is almost as big as Kratos already, and she's eight weeks old. Oh, you... oh yeah. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> He's gonna hate this. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, maybe not that big. <laughs> so, but John... she's her dad. Her dad is a hundred and sixty pounds. Mm, that's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Keep all I your sent Miguel a picture of her brother. Oh man, keep all of your like possessions like in the like I'm I'm seriously telling you keep everything safe that you really is worth a value, dude. Keep it out of away from there because he's gonna fuck that shit up. Oh, or she, or she, she, she. Sorry, she. sorry. I'm used to bear. I'm used to get, the he. Get sorry. the pronouns correct, okay? My bad, my bad. It's I'm sorry, girl. everybody that's offended. Them, my bad. Them, not them, sorry, them. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everyone that's. Anyways, cheers, y'all. You guys have any other random shit? I'm not going to go there. So I, I, I got a quick one. Uh, I was watching the Chiefs preseason game, and I want to say thank you to Washington State for giving us one of our quarterbacks. So Yes. So there's a Washington State quarterback oh, on the Chiefs. I saw that dude. I saw that dude. Uh, uh, was it one? Gumbo? What was his name? Gumbo? Or, uh, fuck, Gumbo. I can't even remember. It's Chris something. I could go for some Gumbo. I know. Gumbo <laughs> sounds good. That Ball. crawdad place is open. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Gumbo. Joe. No one play darts after I get my dartboard. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll I'll look it up. But anyway, go and move on to the next topic. I'll come up with the name. Well, Anthony Gordon. 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 Yes. Gumbo. Gumbo. <laughs> he was really? drinking a bit. Party with the yeah, G. So... I, I, I was I was like there. Yeah, Anthony Gordon was the starter after uh, Gardner Minshew. Yeah. He's all Gordon Gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be like, oh, that gumbo quarterback down there, gumbo, gumbo, gumbo. good quarterback, gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, I saw it and I was like, Washington State, huh? Dude, hmm. Washington State does hold some good players because we've got a uh, Jalen Thompson as a, one of our safeties, and he's a baller when he's healthy, and he came from Washington State. So, go Cougs! Yeah, hey, hey oh, you guys go. keep producing that kind of players. Go Cougs! Fuck it. Yeah. Right. yeah, Drew Bledsoe, dude, that's awesome, dude. I... Football players from Washington and they're solid. Keep it going, man. Yeah. Keep producing. That's awesome. Yeah, good shit. Good shit. Anything else you guys want to add before we leave? Uh, I'm going camping this weekend with a puppy. Hey, we're going to a football game this weekend and playing top golf and Comic X and Twin Peaks. And I'm bringing my recorder. And Miguel's not going. I'll be at home. I'll be myself. I'm Dude, probably, at how least I'll be got, camping. You've got fucking vacation. Time. Miguel, let's go, bro. I'm... Yeah, but. All I hear is, you guys wah, gonna... wah, wah, I'm a bitch. You guys are going to be at the game. Silas is going to be at the game. What the fuck am I going to do for three hours? Quinn Peaks. Just Watching show up. the game at Twitch Peaks. <laughs> I'm not. Or just, the Cardinals. just show up First later. Foremost. Just take your time getting to Phoenix. But well, Joe said you guys to are going to play, play top golf. Before. Joe said you guys are going to top golf before the game. Which no, we'll I'll probably be... go. We'll probably go Saturday, Saturday morning after the game. We'll go after if we want. That's fine. Hi, honey. They want to know how you feel about the dog. Oh, here we go. Live, dude. Bring her in here. Bring her in here. And your nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 don't shut up. <laughs> Not happy. Uh oh. Why not, Jenny? Come on, Jenny. Look at Come here. Here's my doggies. I love them so much. Here's the thing. I don't know if John's told you this. I've never met a dog I liked. There have been two I've not actively disliked. Oh no. But I don't I've ever liked them. Jenny. So maybe she doesn't What is that? I don't know. I mean... it, it's an attachment it grows. It, yeah. it definitely. Tr- Gr- granted, it grows <laughs> like a tumor. Like a tumor. <laughs> like a, Je- Je- no, no, yes. no, Jenny. It's like a family member. It's like one of your children. Trust me, you're gonna love. Don't the do that. You're gonna. You gonna... <laughs> don't do that. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait. No, I said if you want something to love, let's have another baby. <laughs> See, that requires surgery. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Reversal surgery. <laughs> uh huh. And I can leave a dog outside unattended. I can't leave a baby outside <laughs> you unattended. You think you can leave them I mean, outside you could, unattended. but <laughs> ethically, it's not recommended. It's not recommended. <laughs> the the no. funny thing is, John can't even hear what we're saying, so... 
<laughs> it's, it's funny because he said, shut up, Joe. That's funny. <laughs> he, knows. he already knows it was he Joe. He's just talking, so. He just knew. All right, here you go. Love you. <laughs> we love you, Jenny. That's great, man. Oh, well. <laughs> We, hey, who? Oh, yes. Jenny punched him. Jenny punched him. If you want to see I that, said we were napping. Yeah, okay. you Go got... dogs. <laughs> so, for the Twitch users, John just got punched. What happened, John? Yeah, I, I said I told her about the nose ring. Oh no! Oh. I told you guys about the nose ring and what? that we were napping. And you got punched. Uh huh. It wasn't a nap. It wasn't a nap. That was official. It was the nap. Fuck a nap. Yes. <laughs> it was a nap. You're Definitely right. a nap. It was a nap. I know, John. Absolutely a nap. It was. Not boring, huh? <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody was asleep. <laughs> John, how was your rest? Do you feel better? I feel way better. <laughs> oh, I threw my back out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mattress. Oh, you guys are great. Ikea mattresses. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Ikea's the worst when you go shopping in that place. Yeah. It's a trap. You just hate it because Jackie hates it. No, I hate it because I hated it first before she hated it. Well, it's... you also hate it because you're the one putting the shit together. <laughs> yes. On top of it, yes. <laughs> you know me so well, Joe. <laughs> I hate it because Jackie hates it. I hate it because I got to put it together. Because I'm the fucking maintenance man for everything. We all know that. I put some shit together that Joe's mom gave me and fuck, I... <laughs> It wouldn't have been easier to fucking build in my garage. <laughs> what did she give you? It, it was like a bedside uh, dresser thing. Thank, thanks, Mala. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. By the time I got that shit put together, I could have just built the shit was it in, in my garage. Was it in Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have been. Damn near. Like target instructions or something. Oh, yep. man. Whew. You guys got any other random shit before we wrap it? It's been a fantastic show. This has been solid today. Yeah. Regardless of all the power outages and all that shit, it'll be fun when I patch it up. The the ironic thing is Joe and I were like, we'll see if we have power later who lost power, Chris. Yeah, and I lost it. You guys didn't get hit with it? That's bullshit. Oh, it flooded here earlier, not here. Yeah. In in Flagstaff. I know. I drove through it. sent me pictures where she got uh, the mud, like, got surrounded by her car where she works i drove my mom from prescott valley to flagstaff hospital where she had her appointment at and then i drove all i drove all around a giant circle around northern arizona today through three storms it sucked balls but i made it i'm here whatever right oh and i just heard thunder i might get shut off here soon we better wrap this bush up bitch up it just literally just went off right now oh you glitched yeah, it's getting stormy. We're getting stormy right. here. Good shit, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up, B. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games before my power goes out. Peace. This is John. I'm going to bed. Peace. Miguel, I'm going to go eat pizza and maybe Warzone with Joe. Peace. Pizza. I'm going to go eat some food and Warzone with Miguel. I'll try to Game join on. Warzone if my power doesn't go out. Peace. Game, Game on. on. Fuck you, Game John. On. Fuck you, Miguel. Fuck you, John. Go to bed, John. Go Fuck Cardinals. You, <laughs> Fuck the Cardinals. Joe, you're cool. Thank you. Fuck you, Joe. <laughs> what you think? I'll forward you the TikToks he sends me. I hate no, you guys. No, you will not. <laughs> I'm going to include you in the group. No. <laughs> you guys already send me too many TikToks. Do not oh. start including me. Yeah. It's not yeah. too many if you're going to swipe through them later anyway. Yeah, you the next few days, you've been the first one like you at 7 on o'clock it. in the morning. That's because I get up at 2 a.m. <laughs> right. I'm like scratching That's my ass at 7 a.m. I'm not like getting up like fuck. At 7 a.m. I've been awake for five hours. Joe well, sends me stuff to jumpstart my day. You send me shit just that's random and I don't it's just whatever. I send stuff to get the blood flowing. <laughs> This concludes another Console Drones Gamer Talk podcast. Season 3, Biatch. Now let's get out of here and destroy this whole universe. I didn't know you. I didn't know you.